What's up, everyone? This is Max Red. Today, we're going to explore a few of the new features in Cubase 12 Pro. Steinberg just released the 12th edition of Cubase, and it is loaded with new features. I've only had it for one day, so we'll just cover a few of the new additions in this video. My favorite new feature, though, is the one that you no longer need a key dongle or e-licensor to use Cubase. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we'll cover is the new version of Fairy Audio with Scale Assistant. In order to show you what it does, we'll focus on this bass line here. This beat is called Daydream. Let's hear a little bit of it. After we double click our track, we can see the left zone panel with the information that we need. In the very audio tab, we click edit and it will detect the key of our notes. Let's make our grid a little bit bigger so we can see it a little bit better. We already know that we are in D-sharp minor, so that's what we set it to in the Scale Assistant. We have several options. One of them is to show the grid scale. Okay, so now we can see the actual notes of our bass line. Additional options include the ability to set the scale grid and also snap to pitch. Clicking here quantizes the pitch. Let's change this note. We stay in scale regardless of where we move our notes. Cubase now has the ability to pull MIDI chords from any audio track. Let's say we want the chords from this melody here. To do this, we create a new chord track and simply drag the audio right onto it. Cubase detects the chords and then creates a MIDI pattern for them. Now it may not be exact in some cases, but if we click on one of the chords, we can see the relative chords around it, so we can adjust if we need to. If we click on any chord, the chord assistant displays the relative chords, the proximity, and the circle of fifths. We can then move the chords to another instrument and edit them as needed. To expand on the chord feature, we highlight another new one with Verve. Verve is a new piano collection for Halion Sonic. 
If you see here, we have already dragged our MIDI chord pattern to a track loaded with Halion Sonic. We then open up our Halion VST and see that Verb is part of our instrument library. I love that they include the chord pads with it. Let's hear the original one more time. Now let's hear the ones in Haley on Sonic. Let's listen to another preset. The last thing we'll cover today is a new FX modulator. This thing is really dope and I honestly haven't learned everything that it does. We'll throw it on this verse melody and see what it can do. There are quite a few presets and all of the parameters can be tweaked and even automated. Let's hear this preset. Okay, let's try another one. This one has a creepy sound to it, like a carnival funhouse. Okay, let's try another one. This one's called a uh, keyboard chorus pump. Let's see what that does. And then we'll try one more. That's all I have for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be covering Cubase 12 with more in-depth tutorials in the future. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of them and leave a comment for more ideas. Thanks for watching.